Hi everybody, I'm Julie Kerr, writer and director of the indie nerdy comedy Geek Loves Punk. And uh, today I will be talking about my YouTube video that caught the algorithm. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, first thing I'm going to talk about, or yeah, is just let y'all know. Today is Saturday and uh, uh, I'm using clouds as natural light. So I might blink a lot. Because <laughs> the clouds are making my face... I don't know. Yeah, it's bright. Okay. The other thing I want to say is today was Saturday, and sometimes there's a museum in San Francisco called the Legion of Honor Museum and the Day Young Museum, and they had free uh, free entry, so you could get in for free today. Okay. And then I got some souvenirs because they were not expensive. So I got this really cool heart. It's really cool, and it didn't cost a lot of money. Oh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to the YouTube video in two seconds. The the subject matter. So it's nice. Apparently, it's from South Africa, and it's just cool. It's heavy too. All right. The other thing I got, it was really cool. Is the special thing they were showing, and it was free. It didn't cost extra. It was all free. Was the portrait of Barack Obama and Michelle Obama. And I gotta tell you, uh, you know, I don't do politics, so there's a lot of things Barack Obama did that I thought was great. Um, I wish he, he could have done more, and I know that's easy for me to say because I'm not a politician. But <laughs> but what I do gotta say, I, I went to the De Young Museum, and, you know, seeing these portraits, it was cool. Like, Barack o Obama and Michelle Obama, they're just cool. <laughs> they're cool people. Um, and just seeing the portraits they chose, I was like, yup. <laughs> the port, I have, I have postcards. I got postcards of their portraits and their portraits are just stunning. Uh, it's stunning. Okay. So I'm going to stop teasing you, but, and I'll get to the, the, what I, what the, what this is about. Um, but this is Barack Obama's portrait. I mean, look at that. So it's painted. I mean, that's just cool. He's in a chair. Um, uh, you can Google who painted it, but uh, they all the flowers symbolize the different places that Barack Obama's from. I think even one of the flowers represents Chicago. The other flower represents uh, D.C., where he ended up being president, So, or, you know, where the White House is. So, yeah. So, anyway, that's the portrait of Barack Obama, and that's just freaking cool. <laughs> He looks cool. Okay. And, um, oh, good. It, okay, good. It was painted by Kahende Wiley in 2018. Uh, yeah, that's cool. All right, and check out Michelle Obama's portrait. I mean, that's just cool. That is Michelle. This was done by Amy Sherrill. So, I mean... That's just pretty. You know what I mean? M uh, Michelle Obama looks great, so I'll put them together. So, yeah, and seeing those portraits of Barack Obama and Michelle Obama, I mean, first of all, they're just, as paintings, they're gorgeous. Right? Beautiful. And But everybody was just in the rooms looking at the portraits, was just so happy, and so was I. It's like, it felt like a celebrity. It's like, it's like they were there. It's, it's like we were looking at... Michelle and Ob it's like Michelle and Obama were actually there, which is a compliment to the artist because their portrait. So, yeah, it was just cool. I mean, it did feel special, and you just got that magical feeling looking at the portraits, and that's cool. The power of paintings, right? It just it felt like Barack was there, and it felt like Michelle was there, and everybody was just happy. It was cool. It was really cool. All right. Okay, so the subject, but I, so that that was my Saturday. It's Saturday, and I think that Stranger Things has released a thing, so I'm excited about that tonight. Today has been a great day. Okay, but what, I'm gonna be using my computer for notes. Okay, so so today, what I wanted to do was address like my fa uh, my the one YouTube video that I've done that caught the algorithm, and I wanted to talk about that because um, it just kind of happened naturally. So if there's anyone out there who wants to do social media, and I'm going to be honest, I haven't made any money off social media, so 
Uh, I'm working on that, but uh, I finished a, a 90 minute full length film called Geek Loves Punk. I'm going to make a video about that. Um, explaining the movie because sometimes people don't they miss the point of the movie but but it, uh, yeah I think the feature film I made Geekless Punk is a great movie and I think people should totally watch it and you know link below or right here where you can watch it but so the reason I started doing social media was essentially to promote my movie and uh, to uh, make the world a better place uh, and I decided to go the positive route as far as my social media so at first doing social media, I, I was a little bit scared because it's just you're putting yourself out there. But also, it's been a very positive experience. And since I did decide to go the positive route, it's less scary, you know. So now I'm not making any money. <laughs> so maybe if I went, maybe if I went the negative route, hey, maybe I'd be making more money. But I got to be true to myself. Positive videos can eventually make money on uh, on YouTube. Uh, anyway, but what I'm doing is pulling up, I wanted to address this one YouTube video that went, that caught the algorithm. Uh, that way I can kind of talk about it. And, uh, I'm just gonna go like that, turn off the volume, and I'm just pulling up my channel here. There it is. That if you're thinking about doing social media or YouTube videos, you totally should. It's super fun. Uh, there's lots of different kinds of YouTube videos. There's video, YouTube videos where you're just opening boxes. That's a thing. <laughs> there's other YouTube videos I think this is funny, personally, where you're doing your makeup and you're telling like really s Sorry y'all, my video, my camera, my memory card, uh... Yeah, my memory card went, uh, weird. But, uh, oh no, 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 it ran out of space so I just deleted some old videos. Okay. Not a big deal. There's some YouTube videos, they're doing makeup, and while they're doing makeup, they're telling these really, like, stor true stories about, like, serial killers and stuff like that. It's it's pretty fascinating, and the some of these videos get millions of views. Um, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's cool. Like, it's all good. Uh, I don't want to do that, so, but it's just so funny. So you're just putting on your blush and your makeup, and you're talking about murder, and so you're just telling these, like... Um, scary story. I don't know, it's such an interesting genre, and it, I mean, it's cool, like, yeah, okay. So, um, I decided to go to pos positive route. I decided to do personal development, so I just wanted to give, give people advice based on what's worked for me, and the reason I'm doing this is because I go to YouTube for advice, like, all the time about everything, and so I want to kind of be a positive voice in the world, just giving advice and giving lessons for stuff uh, that I've learned. So, uh, yeah. So here's the thing, too. Uh, with social media, you know, you can decide what your niche is going to be or whatever. But a lot of it is just throwing stuff at the wall to see what works. So on YouTube, I haven't quite figured out what my vibe is going to be. So each week, I just figure, I just, I just try a bunch of stuff. Um, so I was, so basically I was giving life advice, I was making all these YouTube videos about giving life advice, and I just randomly remembered, oh, I should do a review of, of a, of a book I really like that I read, and it's, uh, What Color Is Your Parachute? This is the 2017 version. Now, I really like this book, so I also have the 2020 version, basically, and then I have the 2022 version, so I like this book. <laughs> okay. So, um, I randomly, this book changed my life. I got jobs because of this book. I graduated college. I didn't know how to get jobs. And what this book teaches you is, this book teaches you what colors your parachute 2022. It just teaches you how to get jobs. And, you know, I started following all the advice in the book and I started getting way better jobs. So, uh, they should kind of, they should, I mean, everyone should just, I don't know, some people are really good at getting jobs. I was okay at getting jobs, but I got a lot better after I read this book, so. I am shooting this a couple of days later. I was last shooting this on, on a Saturday. It is now a Thursday of that week, same week. It's been a pretty bananas week. The only thing I want to say is, yeah, it's just been a, a bananas week, a bananas week. Quickly, I think... Okay, so what I wanted to do with this video, I have a new outfit. I'm still being lit by the sunshine, so I'm pretty bright right now. And um, But yeah, what I wanted to do was just acknowledge 
I'll put edit all this together where it makes sense but I just wanted to acknowledge the the video that caught the algorithm um, so it's 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 something it's good for my ego but also I, I I'm glad that the video people find it helpful it's very encouraging so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I just wanna basically I wanna say thank you to everyone who's liked the video uh, and I want to acknowledge the the comments I've gotten on the video uh, just because I appreciate all the love I've gotten from the video because um, what I want to do is I just want to like basically uh, say thank you to all the people who have given me a really good nice kind comments so it's just like when it's just strangers on the internet who don't owe you anything um, saying nice things to you, it's, it's, it goes a long way and it's much appreciated. So yeah, um, I forget what I covered in the other footage, um, but basically I, you, sometimes you just throw stuff at a wall and see what, see what sticks. So I kind of just randomly was like, oh, let me talk about this book that really helped me out a lot. So I did a very simple quick video and just put it on YouTube and then it randomly caught the algorithm. It, it didn't go viral, but it's been climbing up the algorithm ever since. So so the algorithm is real. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to say that. The other thing I want to say is, I don't know if this is okay or not okay, but I just think there's someone out there who thinks they, that maybe I don't care about them and I do care about them. And um, I hope they know that. I'm sure they know that. Um, but yeah, just going through some personal stuff right now. And I don't even, I don't even know if it's okay to say that. But um, routine is really important to me. And um, it helps me with my mental health and etc. So part of my routine is just doing the social media stuff. So um, I think my behavior gets misinterpreted a lot by people I care about. And anyway, but I don't even know if it's okay for me to say any of the things I just said. But uh, anyway. Anyway, I just kind of want to say that because I... I get misinterpreted a lot, so I'm actually a deeply empathetic person who really cares about the people in my life, so probably too much, so anyway, alright, so uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I got my computer right here, and I'm just going to talk about, I'm just going to, I just want to acknowledge the comments, because the comments have been really sweet, and the final thing I want to say, if you're thinking about doing social media, and you want to go the positive route, which is what I recommend, I think you should totally do that, because I don't know, like, we just need as much, uh, everybody has trauma, everybody has experienced pain, um, and I think we need as much hope and optimism and healing as we can get. So if you're thinking about doing the social media thing and doing it in, like, a positive way or providing some balance or information, like, you might have a vocation or a job, like, you're a lawyer or a doctor or et cetera or a psychologist, and you kind of want to give your perspective based on where you come from, I think you should totally do that. Um, one of my favorite TikTokers, I think, is called, she's Heather the Lawyer, and she just talks about law, you know? So um, <clears throat> there's a lot of cool, cool stuff. Okay. Yeah, the video that caught the algorithm is called What Colors Your Parachute 2020, a book review. Um, yeah, this book completely changed my life, and that's why I did a review about it. Um, the video is very sincere, and because of that book, I just started getting better jobs, higher paying jobs, and I wish I wish I would have read the book sooner. I wish I would have read the book as soon as I got out of college. I was I was always okay at getting jobs, but I was never like great at getting job getting jobs. So the logistics of just getting a job, which is its own thing, uh, I think that book it's like a textbook on how to just be good at getting jobs uh, and getting jobs that you like, getting jobs that are fulfilling, and you get a check. So yeah, and it's you know, capitalism, so it's pretty important. <laughs> so, uh, okay, having said that, I'm just gonna go through the comments of this video. If you wanna do social media, you should totally do social media. Um, okay, comments from the video. I don't know if these people might be shy, although they did give their names on a public platform, platform so I'm gonna say their names, and I hope, I pray that I'm saying them correctly, I'm pronouncing them correctly. Okay, so Arav Arya, I hope I said that right. Okay. Um, they said um, about me, they said every time she laughed, I too felt like laughing. And I did literally. I don't know why though. Smiley face. I'm really glad I made you laugh, Arav. I, I really, I'm just, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> to make, to make y'all laugh and, 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 and just get some joy in your life. And yeah, I know life is hard. I'm, I'm right here with you. So, all right. Uh, Tanish. 
uh, Chad Harry, again, I hope I said that right, um, uh, they said, I love your laugh, exclamation point, such a lovely video, keep doing your thing, smiley face. Thank you so much, yeah, and you keep doing your thing, and I'm sure you have a great laugh, and yeah, that that's just cool. A stranger on the internet said that. Okay, so so please do social media if you're thinking about it. Okay, I am Dev said I love the positive vibes and cute laugh. Thanks. May you achieve May you achieve everything you want. Love from India. Awesome. Uh, how's it going, India? Uh, I'm here in California, United States, and uh, U.S. loves India. So there you go. <laughs> so all right. So. Um, thanks so much. Uh, love from the U.S. <laughs> okay. Um, Sean Dillman said, uh, hi, Sean. You said, hi, Julie. Great review, exclamation point. I love your positivity and your takeaways from the book. I also made a review video for this book. Please take a look if you haven't seen it. Oh, and kudos for making and sharing your fly flower diagram, your awesome exclamation point. Thanks, Sean. And I, on this video, I'm going to go ahead and put a link to uh, your video. Your video is awesome, too. Thank you so much, Sean. You're awesome. Okay, uh, next is Adele Faith Lim said, hi, settle in. I'm going to read all the comments. Okay, um, <clears throat> Adele Faith Lim said, hi, Julie, exclamation a point, exclamation point. Uh, you're so honest and adorable. Thank you. I get that a lot. And uh, I like it. <laughs> you can totally call me adorable. P.S. I'm 40 years old. I'm like a grown adult, you know, woman. But it's all good to, um, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay. Um, hi, Julie, exclamation point. You're so honest and adorable. Love it, smiley face. I have a question, though. I recently lost my job because of the COVID situation. COVID sucked. It sucked. It sucked for everyone I know. It sucked for me. Just... Uh, and then keeping everyone in my prayers. COVID was hard for most people. Um, it is known that many things have changed since this pandemic. Would you think this 2020 version of the book still stands for the mid to post COVID hiring industry? Great, great question. I think, go, yeah, I, I, I still think it's relevant. Um, I actually got a lot of jobs during COVID because uh, I was okay with leaving my house. Um, uh, so I, I think the information is still relevant. Um, you know, and now it's 2022 and most people are vaccinated and you're okay. So, uh, and right now I am reading the 2022 version and they actually not, the advice hasn't changed that much. I haven't finished it, but they haven't said too much about COVID. So I don't think much has changed according to the book. Um, but I want to finish the book and confirm, but I, I, I think the, I think the advice is always relevant to be honest. So I would definitely say do that. Most of these people I've replied to, typey typey but I'm replying in a video now because it's just so sweet how nice everyone's being um Karina Dianaga hope I said that right um by the way all your names are fantastic beautiful poetic fantastic names I for the record okay so uh you said hi I love your laughing and review I'm so thank you um I have the book in my table thinking should I read it now I'm now that I'm unemployed Thank you. Thanks to you, it's a yes. Can you tell me again the whole website for editing my resume? I'll make a link, but it's called www.canva.com. Uh, yeah, it's a free website where you can just spice up your uh, resume. Just make it look kind of cool is basically, uh, people tend to like my resume. Um, I did kind of make it, fancy a little bit I put some graphics on it and like some people say do that some people say don't do that I just I formatted it using canva.com for free and people I, I get a lot of compliments on my resume so uh yeah and if you read the book the point of a resume is just to get the job interview you want that phone call so um I don't know for me doing the fancy schmancy graphic -y, la 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 resume works for me but to each to each their own, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of opinions on resumes, so yeah. Um, okay, for sure, but I hope it all worked out for Karina. Okay, uh, okay, May W. I literally Googled listening to you laugh. Best video ever. You made my day. Aw, oh, thanks, May. You made my day by writing in that comment. So we just made each other's day, so we're just paying it for it. Okay. Um, Sage Greenstein, hope I said that right, um, you seem like a very kind and genuine person. I think I am. Uh, I am quitting my job this week and trying to take some time to do a self-audit and figure out what I want to do. I figured this book would be a great place to start. 
bingo. Um, I just got so excited, I kind of spit a little, and that's gross. Okay, but yeah, bingo. The, the book is really good for a self-audit. That's the greatest thing. And, like, the other thing the book helped me realize is, like, you're you're a hot commodity if you're watching this. So it's like, you have choices. Like, you, you know, it's not just the um, employer who has the power. You actually have a lot of power. You actually have a lot of power. I think uh, it's called the Great Resignation right now, but it's like... People are really digging deep um, in 2022, trying trying to think what they want to do with their lives. And so because of that, um, just understand you're a hot commodity. The reason why you want to do a self-audit is like you're probably worth more money than you think you are. I don't care who you are, what your background is. Um, the thing about the book, I do believe this in my heart of hearts, not knowing you at all. Uh, and by the way, I'm, you know, I have a bachelor's degree, degree in English. I'm an indie filmmaker, so that's my, I'm not an expert, but I do have faith that you, if you're watching this, you're probably worth a lot more money than you think you are. You probably have a lot more job skills than you realize that you have. Um, and that's the biggest thing about the book. The book helps you understand, like, what your job skills are. For people who have college degrees that are a little more ambiguous, like, again, I have an English degree, so it's like, it, there's actually a lot you can do with it. I just didn't know you could do a lot with it. As opposed to, like, if you have a degree, like, you know, a doctor, it's more clear-cut what you're going to do. Okay. So, yeah, self-audits are great. Because, uh, to me, they lead to better jobs, which I, I believe... I know we have a system that can be very oppressive to people in different ways. I totally know that. But I just, I don't know, I just have faith that whatever you believe in that. I just have faith that you're going to make it. You're going to make it through if you're watching this. And I really want to be a voice to that uh, hope and optimism to you. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Christopher Page said, um, for anyone interested, Udemy, udemy.com has an online class available for the flower exercise featured in What Color Is Your Parachute? which is taught by the author Richard Nelson Bowles. I think this class is a really good supplement to using the book, and I highly recommend it. This is the title of the class, The E-Parachute Introduction to Your Career in Job Search. Uh, discover your purpose and ideal career with the author of the number one career in job hunting book. What color is your parachute? Also, Julie, thank you for your wonderful review of this amazing book, exclamation point. Thank you, Christopher, and for sure, like, take... Sounds awesome. You should totally take the course if you want to. And um, it probably further helps you with the self-audit that the book provides. Um, okay, Carolyn Lawrence. I love your personality, exclamation point. Thank you for filming yourself and uploading the video. Well, thank you for watching, Carolyn. <laughs> so, you're welcome. Um, I gotta tell you, I just randomly made it. So, I had no idea this would be the one. <laughs> This is the one, so I'm, I'm glad it brought so much, it's bringing so much joy to people's lives. Um, Amber Smith, buying the book today, been stuck in the hotel hospitality sector for 10 plus years. Yeah, and want to do something different with my life at the age of 31, for sure. Looking forward to reading the book. Thank you for the recommendation on Canva.com. Totally recommend it. I'll put it right here. I'm trying that out too, exclamation point. Awesome, Amber! <laughs> Um, you know, 10 years in hotel hospitality, uh, that's, that you have so many skill, job skills you don't even know that are transferable to other, um, to other, uh, occupations. Okay. Uh, next person, Echo Lyris, okay? Would you re recommend getting the 2017 or going for the latest edition? I found the seven, 2017 edition and wasn't sure if I was cheating, lol, myself, by not getting the latest one. Um, that's a really good, uh... That's a really good question. <laughs> the first one I read was, two was the 2017 version. I really like it. Um, yes, I like this book, so every time I've need to, needed to, like, kind of job search, um, I own the 2017 version, the 2020 version, and the 2022 version. I'm, I'm employed, and I like my job. I think it's awesome, but... Um, someone asked me to review the 2022 version, and I'm like, sure, why not? Um, but, uh, I don't think you're cheating yourself. I think you're just as well to do the 2017 version. Um, yeah, I, I think you're good. Uh, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I think you're fine. Um, you, that's, that's recent enough where I think you'd be fine. Um, but if you want to get the latest version, if you don't own any copies, I would say get the latest version. But if you're unemployed and you're wanting to save money, you should do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next person is, uh, ADXM27. 
Hi, what differences did, did you notice between the two versions? Also, I understand it was a good self-esteem booster, but what practical steps did it give to help you realize what your career should be? Ooh, that's deep. Um, I can't tell you what your career should be. That's kind of a sort of spiritual thing. That's a cosmic thing. I know my dream is uh, filmmaking. That's my dream. But uh, but I found day jobs that I like, and that's that's pretty good, you know. But um, uh, do 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 good stuff. But what did it? Okay, that's the biggest thing about the book. It's actually extremely practical. So the flower exercise. You can take that and transfer it onto a resume, which becomes very, very practical. Um, so th the book's actually very, very practical. The reason I did a book review is because legit, I started getting more job interviews when I did the book. And I started getting hired and I started getting, it teaches you how to just ask for a little more pay. And a little more pay, a couple more dollars an hour goes a long way. So... I don't know that yeah so I would say like it's very tactical the books very tactical and that's what that's what basically the book teaches you how to market yourself like you're you're if you're watching this I don't care you know I'm, I'm gonna be optimistic and I know that's annoying maybe but if you're watching this like you're worth more money than you think you are you, you you're 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 sitting on a gold mine you are a gold mine you just don't know how to market yourself. And there's so many different people I've met where it's like, you have the potential to make so much money. You just not, you got to market yourself. <laughs> it's like, you got to put yourself out there. So, uh, I, I'm, hey, 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 I'm just trying to help you make more money. <laughs> so, I'm just, that's all I'm trying to do. YouTube's free. The, you know, you get to watch my video for free. And uh, I don't make any money off the video. So, um, I'm just I'm just trying to help you. You're, you. You already have it inside you. Uh, the book helps you market yourself so that you can make more more money and you can buy more groceries or whatever you need money for. Okay, I mean the same stuff I need money for, rent, uh, bills. Okay, uh, Nina, uh, wow, <laughs> okay. Uh, Nina Styles says, thanks for the awesome video, Julie, and love your website. Thanks so much, Nina. It was really fun putting my website together. And I hope you're having a really great day. Okay, uh, Tyler Lukey, Lukey, hope I said that right, uh, came for the book review, stayed for the laughing. Aw. <laughs> um, what, this is very cheesy, but what makes me laugh is, ah, helping people. So, did you know that altruism, Google it, altruism is really good for your mental health. It's, it, there's science behind it. So when you do the right thing, uh, your brain releases a chemical that just makes your brain feel good. So it's actually really good for your mental health to like do the right thing in general, altruism. Okay, so my laughing is your laughing is my laughing is your laughing. I hope that makes sense. Okay, Raja Hawa said, love your authenticity. Thank you so much. I, I love your authenticity in your comment. Ahmed Khan said, you should write the next edition's preface, smiley face. That'd be so cool, and if, if they could throw throw a little money at me, yeah, like, that'd be really cool. Thanks, Almond. Um, Dad Be Rad, that's the greatest name ever. Um, in 2018, I read the 2008... Dad Be Rad, okay, in 2018, I read the 2018 edition cover to cover and completed all the activities. Still useful in 2021? Uh, yeah, I get that a lot. Um... Yeah, I think so. I think 2018 would be, you could still use all that if you wanted to. I'm a person who loves books and doesn't mind owning books. So, um, like I said, I, I've, I own three editions of the book. So, but yeah, I think the 2018 version would be fine to cover the 2021 version. If you're trying to save money, I think you're okay. I think basically if you want like a, a, a I think, Within five years is probably it's fine. You know what I mean? So it was That's my opinion if it's 2018 and that was only a couple years ago that I think it's fine to use that Personally, okay, these are so many comments and it's awesome. Okay, uh, Pete Puebla Says it's interesting that you speak about those voices in your head I know you're a filmmaker, but why don't you make a movie or film about that with a character that has voices in his head? Thanks so much, Pete. For the record, uh, I said, uh, I haven't watched the video. It's hard for me to rewatch my stuff. So, but I think I said something about, yeah, I think I had some relatives who said kind of mean, and my, my dad used to yell a lot and blah, blah, blah. Basically, 
I had low self-esteem and so and I meet people sort of with low self-esteem and it's like if they just knew how to market themselves like they just could be it would change the bottom line they could just be making way more money so I recently was talking to a friend who um, I can see like I, can, I used to be a recruiter and I interviewed people and for a living and I looked at resumes for a living so I recently had a friend or acquaintance who I know she could be, I know how much money, money she's worth in the job market. She just doesn't know it. And I was like, anyway, I was like, you're worth so much money. So you just need to, just, you just got to market yourself better, but it's all good. Um, anyway, so yeah, the voices in my head, I don't, I didn't mean literal voices. Um, and then I want to show empathy towards anyone dealing with mental health or, uh, where they, they where they can hear voices. Um, I just meant that like sometimes, uh, it's actually, I think it's called ruminating, but it's when you were when you have people in your life who've said sort of mean things to you and you replay those moments in your head it's called ruminating it's not good for your mental health so you want to find a way to kind of move on from those thoughts and and it's really good for your mental health to forgive um and I also want to say you know I know forgiveness is a controversial topic I think forgiveness is very important it's also really good for your mental health and your soul but I also want to say is that I do believe in justice so I think when people do really terrible terrible things like terrible things like the bad 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 things like murder or RAPE etc I don't believe on a cause I believe on a cosmic level God does not let those people get away with that kind of stuff I just don't believe it or justice system needs to be better it just does in a lot of situations but I want to make that clear uh forgiveness forgiveness is not condoning bad behavior bad behavior forgiveness is just um practicing something that's really good for your mental health and really good for your soul on a cosmic level I can forgive this pun this person if they've done something really evil but I also know that there's a Johnny Ca Johnny Cash song where he says, sooner or later, God's going to cut you down. I happen to be LGBTQ, blah, 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 not a big deal. I'm a lesbian, blah, 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 blah. But um, I don't think LGBTQ people are, are just, yeah. So um, anyway, <laughs> anyway. So, but Pete made a comment um, about me making a movie about people with voices in their head. Sure, I could do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. And then Pete Pablo also said, I think inspirational movies feed my soul as well. Good. Anything that makes you feel good is good for you. For the most part, that's a loaded statement. But yeah, drinking water, eating your favorite food, reading your favorite book, watching your favorite TV show, reading your favorite comic. Here, I'm just because just cause I can see it. Wearing my favorite hat, live, love, matter. Just anything that, uh, yeah, or... I won't, I won't but, but just anything that makes you happy. Anything that makes you happy is good for your mental health, so. Kay Love says, uh, this was so, she, they say, this is so cute, you are a ray of sunshine. Thank you so much, you're a ray of sunshine as well. Thank you so much. Um, D Cabral says, thank you, nice review. Um, and to that I say, thank you. Uh, I like your short and sweet um, comment. Okay. Um, Pete Puebla, okay, three comments, nice, says, uh, music and prayer feed my soul, that's sweet, good, yes, uh, listen to music, pray, be awesome, awesome, okay, um, Slayed by the Bam, fantastic name, I, best name yet, said, uh, thank you, <laughs> and to that I say, you're welcome. Uh, and then Amay said, can you do one for 2021? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do one for actually 2022. Um, just because, you know, why not? <laughs> I'll see how it goes. And, uh, and Zara Yasmin said, please someone answer why the author chose this title for the book. And actually, I never knew the answer to that. But Christopher Page answered that question. Um, and here it is. Um, here's the answer. Uh, this is on the Wikipedia page for the book. Bowles explained the book's memorable title as his response at a business meeting in 1968 when someone told him that he and several co-workers were bailing out of a failing organization, prompting Bowles to joke, what color is your parachute? The question was just a joke. He said, I had no idea that it would take on all this additional meaning. Right, right, right. Yeah, what color is your parachute? bailing out of a feeling you're right, right, right okay 
Um, I think that's pretty clever. So what color is your parachute is basically, basically the book is the parachute. So, yeah, so what, that's funny. So basically, yeah, okay, so when, when you don't have a job and that sucks, I've actually been unemployed, I shouldn't say this on camera, but I've been unemployed a couple of times, so yeah, so basically you, you're kind of metaphorically jumping out of a plane or out of a job, and the book is the parachute, so the book is telling you how to just boom, get another job, and ideally a job that you like and that pays a living wage. By the way, controversial thing to say, but I kind of think the national, not kind of, I definitely, I think the minimum wage in the United States should be $20 an hour. I know that's a controversial thing to say. I'm not an accountant. I'm not an economics major. You know, I don't know the math. It's easy for me to say. I'm middle class. I make five figures a year in the mid level. But I do believe, I think the minimum wage in the United States should be $20 an hour at least. At least. Um, and I think, and I'm going to say some really controversial, I think, you know, I grew up Christian. Also, I'm a lesbian, blah, blah, blah. I made a bunch of videos about that. But I think what would Jesus do? I think Jesus would very would be very happy with a minimum wage of $20 an hour in the United States. So I think that's that's more than, uh, more than fair. Um, and that's just my opinion. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, it's great. All right. <laughs> all right. So those are all the comments. Thank you, everybody, for watching, for leaving really great comments. It's just so cool that this book, this video really caught on and that this, this book is helping people. Um, yeah. A job, looking for jobs sucks. But, um, yeah, I just hope, yeah, I just hope. Anyway, I, I hope this, this, this book and this video has helped you. Um, again, what I'm about to say might be not be cool. I don't know, but there's someone out there who thinks I don't care about them. I do care about them, and I'm praying for them, and um, I know God's going to take good care of them. <sighs> and that's all I want to say as far as something that's going on in my sort of personal life. All right. Uh, I think you all are awesome. Thanks for watching, and thanks for liking the video. Uh, I'm Julie Kerr, writer and director of the indie nerdy comedy Geek Plus Punk. Um, you can see below the, uh, the website if you want to know more about me and check out more videos, subscribe, all of the things. <laughs> Do all of the things. Um, be good to yourself. Uh, you're going to be okay. This book is your parachute if right now you're looking for a job. Um, you're, very, uh, you're very employable. Somebody wants to hire you. And you're worth a lot more money than you think. Trust me. Uh, that's what I realized with this book. Okay. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'm Julie. Talk to you later. Bye.